It's called Qi Gong. Some know it as Qi or inner energy. But is it martial arts myth or fighting facts? Science will attempt to reveal the truth. Xiao Jun Wang has been practicing Qi Gong for 13 years. One Qi Gong technique practiced by Shaolin warrior Wang is called Tibu Shan or Iron Shirt. Oh, Iron Shirt Qi Gong is a method believed to channel Qi energy to the torso, making it as impenetrable as iron. So we invited Xiao Jun Wang and his assistant Xiao Wei Jin to see the strength of his iron shirt. Okay, so we want to really be able to determine how much force the iron shirt can withstand. So I brought a crash test dummy here, and we have sensors inside this dummy that will tell us exactly how much force you're able to hit with. Costing $100,000, this fully instrumented biofidelic dummy has been meticulously designed to respond to impacts in the same way as the human body. Its various interior sensors gather detailed data about G-forces, acceleration, and impact loads. And they send that information to a computer for further analysis. So what I need you to do is go ahead and hit the dummy just like you plan on hitting Master Wong. Okay, so we'll be able to tell exactly how much force you generate and then how much force your iron shirt can withstand. Three. Two, one, strike! Wow. That's a lot of force. Yeah, I wouldn't want you hitting me with that, that's for sure. When Xiao Wei Jin swings the bat, he generates 790 pounds of force. That's enough force to break a rib. He's going to cause a lot of internal injuries. In the abdomen region, you're definitely going to have, you know, liver damage if you hit. These are the types of forces that cause severe injuries. This is when years and years of training come to, you know, play. Most top-level martial artists can withstand a blow to the solar plexus of 800 pounds of force. But they do it by building up their abdominal muscles through constant exercise. In effect, creating a thick wall of dense fibrous tissue that protects their internal organs. But Master Wang doesn't seem to have such muscle mass. He claims to use a more esoteric technique. So you're going to focus all the chi yeah, here. To here, and then leave here, and take his power. Okay. As a scientist, I can't measure chi. It's something that, that's just not measurable. It's not anything I can quantify. To ensure this isn't just a parlor trick, we've placed tracking markers on the bat so that we can calculate its speed when it strikes Master Wong. So we definitely have the EMT standing by, right? Three, two, one, strike! Okay. Yeah? Any pain? No. It's got a mark. It's definitely on it. It's so yeah. fast. That, I mean, I don't understand that. I mean, you have... I... This time, according to an analysis of the tracking markers, Xiao Wei Jin swings at over 72 feet per second and strikes with 484 pounds of force. It's less than his first strike on the crash dummy, but still a potentially lethal blow. How can a lean fighter like Master Wang repel such a powerful blow? According to Qigong theory, Master Wang is able to focus his Qi energy into the surface of his torso. As the bat strikes, his Qi repels the impact like a shield, absorbing and protecting against the force delivered. Surprisingly, Master Wang actually steps into the bat strike which some think would increase the force of the blow. It's not an uncommon technique in the martial arts to counter a blow by tensing your muscles and almost moving into it 
so that it repels the force. Will you bruise? Will you even bruise? You have to bruise, right? This is oh, just gonna be because it's, it's just a red. skin, a skin. Yeah, yeah. It's soft. But normally that would go into a bruise. Yeah, that's can you handle it? Okay. But what's really cool? You saw it actually repel the bat away from him, so it took away his force. So what did you feel? What did I mean? Did you feel that? Did you feel him kind of knocked him back? Fight science will see if this Shaolin warrior's chi technique can protect him against a bamboo spear with a steel tip. Since chi is outside the realm of science, we've asked two experts to join us. Craig Reed is a fight choreographer and martial arts author. Chi translated merely means air, and in that manner it's known as the inner force, the inner energy, vital force of one's body. Also joining the team is Martial Arts Hall of Fame member James Liu, a martial arts instructor and weapons master. I've seen Iron Shirt demonstrations before, but this will be the first opportunity that I'll get to see it tested in a controlled laboratory situation. The scientists are skeptical. Right there where it's all soft tissue. Yeah. This is no trick. This was the actual spear that was first tested on a 10-pound watermelon. And this is the potentially lethal hidden anatomy of the Iron Shirt. Xiao Jun Wang will place the tip of the spear at his throat just above the supraclavicular notch. This is the area doctors cut into to perform a tracheostomy. There are no strong muscles here to protect the throat. And the cartilage of the windpipe is easily cut between the tracheal rings. Too much pressure here could spell disaster. Nevertheless, Wang will use his body weight to push against the tip of the spear. So you pull something inside to, to make sure you don't get hurt? Yeah. Okay, well we still have a medic standing by, okay? Attached to the spearhead is an electronic strain gauge which will measure how much force is applied to Master Wang's neck. Once Wang has bent the spear, Xiao Wei Jin will break this one inch thick wooden rod over his back. For his sake, I really do hope there's chi. The severity of the injuries and the force that's generated and you know, having that knowledge of knowing what kind of injuries could result, it makes me really nervous to have him do this. Now you have a mark there, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? You sure, I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> He's okay. I felt the pressure on my foot. You can feel it on your on. foot? Well, we definitely saw it in the strain gauge as well. Despite some redness, Master Wang's neck is unscathed, although two small marks suggest that his collarbones absorbed some of the stress. The gauge on the spear maxed out at 2,900 pounds per square inch more than enough to puncture his windpipe. It literally defies science. The training that I have, there's no scientific explanation for this. But this is soft tissue, and typically, except for a callus on the skin, which he doesn't have a callus on his neck, you can't change, it's soft tissue. Unlike bone or even muscle, most Western experts believe that other than calluses, soft tissue cannot be hardened. <laughs> Whether chi is a mysterious energy or a matter of constant conditioning, we really don't know. So what keeps Xiao Jun Wang alive when he does this? These are the hidden secrets of chi. Practitioners believe that chi is stored in the Duntian, an area about an inch below the abdomen. They also believe that they can direct this energy source to any point on the body to protect it from harm. In this demonstration, the chi is summoned to protect Zhao Jun Wang's windpipe when the spear is placed at his throat. Even with the added pressure of breaking the wooden baton over his back, the Shaolin warrior remains undamaged. 
Even having the most advanced tools, there's currently no way to measure chi. But whatever Shaolin Warrior Wang's technique, there's no denying its results. For now, the hidden strength of this secret defense will remain a mystery.